Hi everybody and welcome to this week's technique video. This week's all about side scenes. Now I absolutely love side scene cards because they're so easy to create. There isn't a right or wrong way, there's just your way. There's so many, you can use any theme, you can use any size card and once you get the concept the possibilities are endless. So I'm going to show you how to create a side scene from scratch and I'm going to be using the collection this week that's on promotion. Check out the website on debbiemore.co.uk and go into the digi kits. We're using the Vintage Botanical as you can see behind me I've got some gorgeous cards showing that lovely kit. But once you get the idea with the side scene you can go to town with it. So let's get started. So to get started you do need to have a base card. So I have got an A4 card blank just there. Now I'm not really measuring and you don't have to, all you need to do is a fold back concept and what I mean by that is I'm folding this back so I'll make a card blank. So this is my card blank and I'm using, it turns it, an A4 turns it into an A5 and to create a fold back okay all you do is fold this back. So whichever size card you do you get this concept. Now this is the starting point, now you can use a square card to do this technique to make them smaller or you can actually go larger. And then the next thing that you do is you do need a paper trimmer or you can use a ruler and a knife. And I am not really, you know, you have different measurements. I, you know, if you want me to do exactly the right measurement, I am doing, uh, let's do four and a half centimetres. There isn't a right, as I said, a wrong way. You can just cut off whatever you want. So you need to just make sure you go through all the areas, all, or I should say all the sections which I have there. So that creates two parts and this is how easy a side scene is. So all I've got, you can see that I've cut those two parts off there. You're going to rotate this over like so and this can fit in there. And this is what a side scene, it's as simple as that. Can you see that? Or you can have it in the middle if you want to have it like so. Or you can have a top and a bottom and have something in the center. There isn't a wrong way or a right way, it's just your way. But there's no measuring involved. Once you've done that fold back, that is your base of your card. Now, as I said to you earlier, I am using this gorgeous vintage botanical collection and I've already got my card ready here. Now, I've already prepped it. As you can see, I fold it back like so. And what I've done here is I to save, you'll understand why there's a white part here in a second. I've already backed the inside of my card to start going. And then I am decorating my side strip. And all I'm doing is I'm just putting some three in one glue on. You can use any adhesive that you want. You can use double sided tape, whatever is easier. I just love three in one. It is super quick. And so what I'm doing is making sure, and here's my top tip when it comes to cutting, what I do is this is what is going to go here. Now you can cut directly once you've actually stuck it on and this is how I do it to get it flush. You literally line it up right up to where you want it. I want to leave a white edge on top and bottom. Turn it over, use your scissors as a guide and cut from the back and that will leave it nice and flush. So this is my card base. And when you put adhesive on, you're going to put the glue there and then the glue in this section. So what this is what I do. I literally put a bit of glue there and then a little bit of glue on this part and then I flip it over make sure your card's completely flat and line it up where you want it I'm going to line up there and that's how easy it is to create that side seam now what I've got here is I have got my topper already now just to break that up I want to put this lovely little ribbon strip I'm just going to trim that down to make sure it just fits into that section like so and you know you don't have to you can actually decorate them however you want you can use different collections but what I love about this collection is the vintage is very fresh it's now it's, it's timeless really now you can use some foam pads I'm going to just use some foam pads just to put along the edge there just to make it stand up a little bit more like so and then I'm just going to use my pricking tool take the top off now when it comes to, as I said, the side scenes, I'm just doing it very quickly. And what I've done there is I've stuck this on here that says all my love. So when it opens up, this pops out. So I've shown you how to create that gorgeous side scene, doing it like so. But you can get the idea. There's a center one. There we have, using Carnation Dreams. 
This is using an art deco, one of our side scenes. So as you can see, it creates these beautiful scenes. There's nativity. You can put it, the nativity has got different elements in there. Or you can go cute. The possibility, everybody, is endless. All starting from one single side scene. So I hope you've all enjoyed that, everybody. Remember, no measuring. Very easy to do. Have a go and happy crafting.